The first thing you have to do, yeah, screw, screw all the learning stuff. Go outside a base and enroll into a boxing course, take leave and go fight your recruiter. He did you so dirty, dog. I don't care what he did to butter you up. That guy did you dirty. If there was no external reason of why you couldn't commission, which I don't know, there's not tons of backstory, but it doesn't look like it. This guy did you wrong. What's up guys, DWK videos. If you are new to my channel, I make military content, the best military content on YouTube and I'll post it for you. So if you wanna watch, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe. Grab some popcorn, we'll be here for the next, what, 10 minutes is when I can max out ad revenue? That's a joke. No, it's not. Anyway, I'm scrolling through Facebook. US Navy Recruit Training Command, which avid fan of the page, I'm always liking their post. Top commenter, heart emoji, heart emoji. <laughs> Posted yesterday, and it's already a meme across all the medical enlisted pages on uh, Instagram. And if you're an officer, you don't know what we're talking about because we exclude you from that. You're not invited. Anyway, it said, meet Seaman Recruit Chase Barnes, uh, from Texas, who's currently assigned to division blank blank. This man enlisted in the military, and if you are in the military, you're gonna know, you're gonna catch immediately what's wrong with this. Enlisted in the military after being an ICU nurse for 13 years. It said he's a registered nurse with experience working in neuro ICU, medical ICU, trauma ICU, and cardiac ICU. So basically he's a veteran and has been around the block. And the only thing, the only quote they put is, I was ready for a new adventure. Not, I was ready for my recruiter to bend me over, cover me in lube, like a bucket of lube, and just take me to pound town. It doesn't even say if he enlisted as a corpsman, so it might've took him out of the medical field entirely. Now, if you are not in the military, which some of my viewers are not, they have enlisted, which means you don't really have a degree and you learn trades, and the pay is much lower than Commissioned, where you have a degree and you have tons of benefits, life's better, re-enlistments are like out the ass with money, your resume looks good for future jobs. And I'm not saying there's not benefits for enlisted, dude, I'm enlisted, like there's tons of benefits. However, if you already have the prereqs <laughs> to have the good life, um, and you are starting off young, so most enlisted going through boot camp, majority, 90 plus percent I would say, are like 18 and 19. This man has to be past 35, I would assume. Because he's coming in as an E3, he's gonna be treated like an 18 year old in the military, and his bosses are gonna be people just 20s, young 20s, people who he would be bosses of in his civilian side. And mind you, this man already has all the life expect ex expectancies, so he's gonna die, experiences of a grown man. So if he goes through course school, which he'll pass in an instant because he probably knows more than the instructors because again, the instructors are like HM2s, HM1s, and this guy was a fucking trauma nurse. Anyway, he passes through course school, he gets to his first command and boom! A 19 year old HM3 says, take out the trash and you'll leave when I tell you to. And he's gonna say, hi HM3. And he goes, why don't you have an FMF pin? He's like, I checked in yesterday, HM3. And he goes, not good enough. <laughs> For real though, I have empathy, man. My heart is aching for you. Like it's already, it's literally already a meme stock all across Instagram. This one being my favorite because I wrestled growing up. Let, let's start off with some basics. So if you were to commission as a nurse officer, you would probably start off as an 01. However, you're gonna start off as max in E3. A nurse commissioning normally gets a signing bonus of 30, thousand dollars just to sign the contract enlisted especially for corman because we're overmanned get nothing you won't you won't get a single extra dime so you're already starting up a good 30 grand on top of the other option becoming an officer has debt repayment programs normally up to fifty thousand dollars so if you are in debt you could have literally just took out loans to go to nursing school and immediately just paid it off by becoming an officer now there's certain like debt repayment programs with enlisted but it's not it's not like this to become a nurse corps officer, the cutoff age is 41. And this guy's from Texas, so he's a legal citizen. I don't really get what was the reason he couldn't become an officer, which makes me question, who was this recruiter? This dude needed to meet, meet quota bad. <laughs> said, oh, I said, oh fuck man, chief's on me. I gotta get one more dude in. Officer, don't, no, 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 no. This is officer, sign this. Sign it! If you would've became an officer, you would've got basic allowance for housing off the rip but you enlisted, so you're gonna share a barracks room, probably the size of a kitchen, uh, with another 18 year old kid. I don't know why I said another, you're like 35. And dude, I fucking hated having roommates. You normally don't move out until you're E5, unless your base is overmanned, or you have special conditions like you're married. But since you're not, or we presume you're not married, you'll start off as an E3 without BH, and you'll be making roughly two, th and this is pre-tax, $2,100 a month. You'll be eating at the chow hall, so you won't get basic allowance for substance, but you won't have any bills because you live in a small closet with another 18-year-old kid. 
which is great for 18 year olds moving out of their house. I did it, you move up the ranks a little bit and you get more you know, uh, access to freedoms of life. Sounds like you're in jail, you're not. Genuinely great building blocks for kids getting their life on the right path. And you get higher enlisted and you start getting the same accommodations as officers, but you have to start off on the lowest part of the totem pole. So the $2,100 you started off with as an officer, you would have started off with $3,385 plus BAS, so 3,700 plus basic allowance for housing. Let's say you're in California. It's pretty much uh, 2,500, 2,400, 5,000. You get like 6K a month. <laughs> Starting off as a nurse corps officer at Balboa, where on the flip side, you're about making 2,000 a month as enlisted. So yeah, I know money's not about everything, guys. Money's not about everything. It's not about money. Use my Robin Hood code so I can get a free stock. <laughs> Links in description. I'm not even kidding about that. But sure, yeah, life's not everything. So let's talk about combinations of life. If you end up on a ship, right? If you guys have ever deployed on a ship, the enlisted <laughs> are like packed like sardines. And I, I have videos of me on the ship on my channel if you guys wanna go check that out. While you're there, leave a like, subscribe, and, and hit post notification bell. But they're essentially coffins that are stacked three high and facing each other. So not all of you can stand in the aisle while you are, and there's like 150 people in a room. So if a giant fire breaks off in there, like you gotta section off at least half of you to die. The officers get this thing called state rooms. Bigger beds, like three or four people to a big room. They had desks in there like giant curtain things to like pull over. I was just medical on a ship, but our flight surgeon, who was pretty close to me and the rest of the dudes working in uh, the air combat element, because we only had like three corpsmen, uh, we had to go grab him for a lot of stuff. So when he would be in his ward room, I'd go knock on the door, be like, hey, LT, they, what the fuck, it's so nice. <laughs> while we're having like, <laughs> while we're having like bare knuckle fist fights in our wreck area in my room. <laughs> So that's just ship accommodation to life. But overall, you get treated more like an adult as an officer off a rip, whereas if you're an E3, not in a derogatory sense, but you earn your keep. If you're an E3, you're kind of treated like an E3. It's like, hey man, uh, we need a generic body to go take out trash all day for this other command. We need one body from the command. You think they're sending the 01 through 0 whatever? No, they're not sending them, they're sending the E3. And unfortunately, no one cares what age you are when you join. Age doesn't matter, your age is your rank. You know, so if you're an E3, you're an E3. You are literally the same as some 18 year olds who just came out of the womb. I don't know I'm talking about 18 year olds like that. I'm literally Gen Z. Although everyone thinks I have Benjamin Button's disease and they think I'm old as hell on camera. Our boys over at Disgruntled Docs who pretty much cover everything military medical related. Um, they're a meme page. Don't think you're gonna get like knowledgeable stuff out of there, but it's fun, you know. I went to the comment. I'm just gonna read off some of the comments. Kelsey said, a mistake he'll never forget. James says, this makes less sense than a married chief being pissed off when an attractive new check-in shows up already married <laughs> and not willing to get with him. Trevor said, knew someone in the same boat. Recruiter effed her over, even though she had an RN, but transition wouldn't be hard. Just apply for MESEP and show you have all the required credits. Uh, Trevor, transition would be hard because MESEP is grossly overmanned. And why would he have to go through MESEP if he already had a degree? There's tons of reserve sailors who got their degree after the fact and they're still not being picked up. So we, it's if you already have a degree, it's easier to get in commissioned while you're out. Robert said, this is the hardest I've ever seen someone get fucked. And last but not least, Fitzgerald, and this is probably my favorite, he's about to be stationed in Spain without the S. But regardless, Chase, man, I'm sure you'll have fun. There's tons of cool things you can do enlisted. Definitely camaraderie wise, enlisted is way better than officer, man. There's officers on the ship just trying to find friends to go off in ports with and enlisted. You, are, you already have your drinking buddies, man. We're all like this, and you're part of the pain club now. So if you need anything, man, reach out. If you want help applying for these programs, uh, me and my boy Nikki have somewhat of a knowledge on it, so you can uh, you can reach out to us, man. We'll definitely take care of you. It's unfortunate. Hopefully there is an actual reason why you had to enlist, and not just the recruiter going, ah ha ha, quota, 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 quota.